being something in there. Are we back? Are we back? We're back. I have no I'm idea back. what just happened. That bear, though, that was not a pleasant thing to be attacked by. I did kill him, but I was getting slapped to hell. Yeah, I don't know if, like, Lloyd's playing with the internet or uploading stupid shit for his school. I am going to have to contact my, um, <laughs> internet service provider. I don't know what's going on, because that's too many times now. Yeah, I would just... definitely, definitely call them and yell at them. It is not my fault, guys. It's not my fault. It's I believe his... it's Courtney. Yeah, hashtag blame Courtney. I'm with this. Blame Courtney. No, fuck y'all. All Why right, is it's Courtney your... the bane of our existence? It's Courtney's fault. <laughs> it's your shitty internet provider that keeps blipping your internet for no gosh dang reason. They only do it like once or twice a day now, but it's getting old. It um, is definitely getting old. I, I would definitely call someone to yell at them. Yeah, I'm definitely going to yell at them tomorrow. Like, I'll pay for the high speeds, and then you blip it out on me, and that's really getting old. Yeah, for sure, though. I'm going to throw the whole thing that they're, like, endangering my job and stuff. I'm going to be not so nice. They're going to okay. get the whole Karen. <laughs> Clayton it activates Karen mode. It's super effective. Yeah, I've only read people a few times in public like that, and I, I'm not proud of it. But I will mm -hmm. make a bitch, like, quiver. Um, Nothing up here. Did we come in here? I'm assuming so, because it's an empty toilet. Uh, did you ever unlock the gun safe in there while I was lagging out? Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure, because like I said, everything was just mm -hmm. collapsing in on itself. So. Courtney equals Karen. Courtney uh, is like the anti-Karen. She's too was... nice. You could shit on Courtney all day, and she'd be like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you could be like giving the worst service and be like, would you take this survey for me, please? It'll help me get a promotion, and Courtney would take it. Mm. And she'd give you a good review. Because she doesn't Thank know. You. Maybe you had a bad day. She wants to make sure that you get to keep your job and get a promotion. No matter how terrible you are. Right, Courtney? I think you oh, 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 for exaggerate how kind I am. Have you ever given anyone a bad survey? I've never, I don't do the surveys, so no. You've never done a survey ever? Not for, uh, cus not In for general, like a- In general, you've never done a survey for anyone? Uh, no, not for workers, generally, no. Wow. That's kind of impressive considering how many you've gotten. Listen, I didn't even push my own surveys when I worked and had to do them. And that literally was a constant mark against me. I'm like, listen, I don't give a shit enough about the surveys to push them. So I'm not gonna. <laughs> like, no matter how many times you tell me you need to push your surveys, I'm just like, I don't give a single fuck about my surveys, all right? Like, oh, no. I really don't. Somebody came in and typed stars for some reason. Kiss like a reverse. I do surveys for assignments. I wonder how long the realize I've been sitting in voice chat. Oh my god, Ray, I didn't notice. I did not notice. Oh Hold shit, on. Ray, sorry. I'll move us over. Hello, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney, the bird's trying to murder us. I know the bird's trying to murder us. I'm speeding away from the bird. Oh, you've only been in for a minute. Oh, okay. I was like, oh no. <laughs> Let it eat shit. I mean, if that's how it wants to live its life, it's already dead, so. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I don't think it can do anything worse for its health than what's already happened. <laughs> yeah, I've been sitting here for like a minute, so... <laughs> yeah, I didn't, you didn't miss anything, I just was in here. <laughs> Alright, I'm trying to see where we haven't gone on the map here. Yes, kitty, a minute. South, north... <laughs> Which translates to one million Yeah, alright. Because remember, uh... when we went in the burnt area west, that's the end of the world. Alright. So, playing, how did it. Uh, I was playing Gary's Mario earlier and trying to find what this looks like crap. I'm gonna have to turn you up. For some reason, you're really quiet today. 
Oh, please. Uh, I had to adjust stuff lately because uh, I think I had sounds going on in the background. I had a game going on. Oh, I got you. Oh. Yeah, I raised you, so you should be better now. You were like just a little whisper in the background. I was like, mm, yeah, it ain't gonna work for me. Um, I was having to try and stay a little quiet because I don't need to disturb anyone. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> Okay, well, while I'm loading in, I am going to go get myself something to eat, and then when I'm in, I'll try and catch up with you guys. We're just exploring garbage land. Spin, what the hell? Who did I raise in there in my gang? What is this? Who told you about <laughs> my future dreams? That's my question. <laughs> oh, hey, a bear. Do you want to murder it? I mean, sure. Murder it. We can also go into the clunky oil company, too, because, like, I'm kind of curious. I killed him! What the fuck? Uh, yeah, he completely- I murdered him out of this reality, that's how hard I hit him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Murder the bear. No, puppy! Don't touch me, puppy! Right. Wait, is that- Oh, road close. I'm like, that's a radioactive spot. To be fair, I'm surprised not- Like, I'm surprised that some people I'm trying, I'm trying to think worse today, but I'm surprised that some people aren't scared by my deep voice because a lot of people are usually scared by it. <laughs> oh no, no one's knocked me off my feet more than Kid. Kid's the one, like, Kid came in, he's got such a deep voice, he woke Lloyd up from a dead sleep because Lloyd was watching the stream. <laughs> and he came running in here and he's like, What's that fucking Kid? <laughs> 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 Right. Yeah, but I'm able to go down to like a deep voice and people aren't really scared by it sometimes. I'm like, how are you not scared? Mm. Is there a lot of blowy up barrels? Okay. Okay. We're done lagging here. We're done. Yes. No. Maybe. Probably not. It's like, no, we're not going to do this today. <laughs> I sit here for an hour cursing it out because I want to play my game. There's really not much <clears throat> going on in this oil refinery. Right? Like, you'd think there'd be like tons of oil or something, but it's really not not a whole hell of a lot going Do on. Do have my lock picks? Yeah. I hear a zombie. Is he in the oil thing? That's not trying to figure out. You hear out. a zombo? I'm like pipe leaping, trying to get up here. Oh, there's one down there. Who the hell fucked with my game? Everybody. Do do do. Uh, it, it was part of an orgy, you just didn't no, realize it. I fell. No, someone went into my game, I don't know who, that or a uh, theme glitch. And all of my settings were reset. No. That's so the instead worst. of being at the lowest of graphics, it was at the highest of graphics. Lamal. That's why I was like. It's like, good luck trying to play with this. Two frames per second, my only weakness. There is actually but a zombie no, down in there, but there's like also some stuff. 62 frames, but the moment you start moving, it goes down to like 11 frames. I'm like, oh god. Alright. <laughs> yeah, it's too slow for me. So I made it down yeah, into the oil I, thing I, I with some of... shotgun messiah boxes. And I kind of figured, nice. I figured it would my uh, quality because the textures in the game were different from the last time I played. Because last time I played, everything was more kind of blurry. Right. And not crystal clear. You were like, it's too pretty. It's too yeah. Pretty. <laughs> normally, if the game looks too good from the last time I played it, it normally means my settings are fucked. <laughs> Courtney, how'd you even get up there? Oh, I see. I pipe jumped and then broke in. Uh, I'm gonna have to wait for a little bit though because uh, it's having to load all the all uh, the settings because <laughs> we did it down to the lowest, the lowest. So it was like, oh crap. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Clayton. Earlier before you uh, went on, I wanted to send you a video I found. It was hilarious. 
Aqua puts it out. It's for uh, D and D. <laughs> oh, nice. Get to know those things have so much health. Crap guide to D and D. <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh, I love that. I've read. I've watched that. He's funny. You the actually kind of sound. You actually kind of sound like the dude who does it. I I realize now why your voice seemed uh, strangely familiar. <laughs> well, I never made the video. I could promise you that. <laughs> Ray is like, I am the guy who made it. it slaps you. I mean, that's what I should do next time. I just mentioned it and someone's like, your voice sounds familiar. I'm the guy who made a crap guide to D&D. &D. <laughs> like, oh my god. Like the next day, Joe Cat shows up. He's like, you're trying to impersonate my ass. <laughs> so I don't know if we can go further south, but we should probably try for a second. And then we need to head back. Uh, yeah, sure. They can't get we in the car, Courtney. But well, we can't get in the car. I think I think it's been a good hour laughing after that video for uh Drive for Drake Drake Courtney. <laughs> oh it's radiation it says. Yeah. Yo, they're blast. What the hell are we stuck on? <laughs> oh metal. How's this radiation? I, don't I think know. I'm just permanently stuck at this point. Let's see how far we can get before we start turning radioactive though. You're gonna kill us. I'm be pissed. If you see a sign on the road, you know, one of those blinking construction signs. That tells you that the radiation zones are good by that area. But you have to look out for those construction signs. They literally say radiation ahead on it. I mean, we've made it pretty far. That one was fake. Okay, uh, hold on, stop the car. There's choices, Courtney. There are choices. Hey, what a game. Try. Oh. Uh, let me see what. Head west, because we haven't gone south, but like we're pretty close to the bottom of the world. Okay. Uh, you're pretty close to the edge. Because <laughs> I went along the path before. Yeah, uh, you're going straight towards the radiation zone. Uh, wait, I'm sorry, I meant east. Lamau. I realize I said west now. <laughs> I'm, just like, wait. I'm like, we should like, be heading in the opposite direction. I was like, wait. <laughs> I, I looked very closely. I'm like, you're going straight to Yeah, that was definitely zone. my bad. <laughs> For once, it wasn't me. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's I, I couldn't the really uh, judge which way you were going completely without zooming in because the cursor is always pointing towards the south, uh, the southwest. Lamau. Yeah. I think that zombie just did like an amazing flip. Uh, if you keep <laughs> going east, you'll actually run into the prison. Yeah, that's where we're kind of heading. We're trying to complete the map. We were really looking for the merchant, but we haven't seen her. Yeah, we oh, thought there the, was uh, Wasteland merchant? Mm-hmm. I sent you the marker. Did you? Uh, yeah, it's labeled White River. Oh! I don't have that one. I shared like 300 different kind of waypoints you never look at. Um, I got that one. I didn't know it was the traitor though. I didn't know you. Yeah, that's the traitor. I went all the way to him. Uh, White River, White River is. It's directly uh, northeast from the prison. Yeah. Okay. I see it now. All right, keep going. We this is why I send you markers. <laughs> well, Ray, where were you when we needed you? <laughs> <laughs> that zombie actually just funded. I know with the map. <laughs> All right, well, you're going to have to direct me so we don't get lost. Ah, bear. Sure, when we don't uh, have any roads. I kind of off-roaded my way towards yeah, my keep, river. Yeah, keep so. following this, this, uh, this way. Keep following this way. Yeah, just keep following that road up towards the north. They should and be you a should turn see, eventually. Yeah, and on your uh, left hand side, you'll eventually see a road leading off. It's like a little it? dirt road. Okay. Like the whole time in Dave was changing over here because the biomes, it doesn't know what it wants to be. It went from like over overcast cloudy to we're pretty sunny over here now. <laughs> yeah, it's like are okay, we if you turn directly or? west now, you'll. Go on to that dirt path. Yeah, it's right there, oh, this... that bumpy ass road. Yeah. 
I don't know if we're gonna be we able to. We shouldn't do that right now though, because we should head back to base. It's late. Yeah, just head towards the west. Right. Okay, let me just. But we know where it is. Yeah. Oh, come on, Courtney. come on. You have come time. On. The killer, Remember, the actual. trader doesn't close till like twenty hundred. Yeah, but we're super far away, and we still gotta get back in base. Well, so. the trader's directly on that path. Yeah, we'll get him tomorrow. I'm surprised you're like, oh, we're trying to find a trader. I'm like, I sent you a marker. I was like, it's on the board, Drew. I mean, oh my god, Drew, I'm calling you Drew now. Why do I keep calling everyone the wrong name today? I called, <laughs> I I I Drew I called Josh Ray earlier. Hello, everybody. I'm Rendo Drew. Yeah, and now I just called Ray Drew. Like, <laughs> Drew's going to come in and be like, so what's my name, Clayton? I'm just having a stroke or something. That's what's happening. Don't mind me, everybody. I was like, die on cam. Um... If we, eventually, if I have enough uh, supplies, I'm going to try and uh, fix up that one bridge. Which one? The on, like... one I labeled Broken Bridge. I don't have that one either. Uh, I might have that one. The one, like, way to the south there. Yeah, where I have it also marked as radiation on the very south. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to try and work, uh, work on that bridge so we can get across that canyon and find out what's on the other end. Instead, I, I remember it. Andrew Clayton. Uh, actually, from the looks of it, directly south of that broken bridge, or well, southwest, I believe, there's actually a little town. Ooh. Oh my god, I hate bricks, Courtney I hits hate metal, every I, hate, freaking thing. I hate it all. I hate it all. You just she have to everything. avoid all the things that aren't a plain flat surface. <laughs> That's it. The secret is you're supposed to be on the flat part. Uh, uh, let's put it this way. Courtney hates everything in the game. <laughs> That's not true. I'm just watching as, <laughs> like, the car hit points drop. Don't mind me. I'm just bobbing oh, my happy little Drew rainbow head. Okay. Well, I'm going to get this out of full screen, and then I'm going to get some food. Splat. I actually tried, and I told Drew too, I tried stalking Drew on Facebook to try and figure out who he is. Because I'm playing this game, because we live in the same town. So I'm playing this game that, like, I want to try and recognize him in public first. <laughs> and that way I can be like, hello, Drew, or something like that, you know? And so, um, I tried finding him, but one of my friends, who's named Drew in real life, of course, joined this stupid group with everybody who's named Drew in it. So it's like all the Andrews, all stuff like that. Anyone whose name could be Drew is in that group. So now whenever I search it, Facebook's algorithm gives me all those people and I'm like, God damn it. And they're like everywhere. They're like people from all over the fucking world. And I was like, I can't even, like I can't even search now because this person ruined it for me. <laughs> so. Found like the little side way to get home, I guess. Spent. <laughs> I tried stalking Drew's street starts freezing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have to go off roading a bit. Oh man. Oh. Yep. Wait, never mind. Yep, this is not a good off roading area. Hold on. Take all the shit. Pick up the car. Oh my god. Alright, come on. Are we even heading in the right direction? This doesn't look right. Yeah, the okay. bed marker is this way to the east. Oh, I see the bed one now. I was like, I only see the freaking caves. <laughs> bed marker is definitely this okay, way. Okay, stupid question. I'm doing an assignment for class. What do you think a cybersecurity person would wear? Uh, well, a cyber what? Cybersecurity. It depends, music. Like, it, yeah, it really does depend, uh, because even though you're a cybersecurity person, it really depends on what you're doing for the job. Or like if you because work for the a cybersecurity person does, uh, not every secu uh, cybersecurity person does the same job. Yeah, but also some people are outsourced, so they wouldn't have like the yeah. company uniform. Mm -hmm. You could either have a company uniform, you could not have one, you could actually have a security guard Jeez, uniform. A cyber it really bitch depends shirt. on... <laughs> it, it really depends on what you're doing as a job. Yeah. Because they have, they have one of those t-shirts that say, I'm just better at Google than you are. I'm because those IT. as a cybersecurity 
You're not. You're not everyone who cybersecurity is doing the same job. Everyone's doing a different job together. You could work on the server. We working on this. Yeah, I mean, you're working security, but you're doing different things. Yeah. You're not also, on the same technically, stuff. cybersecurity is company wide, because anybody with any access and any credentials has to participate in good cybersecurity practices. Otherwise, you completely. It's it's just pointless. You know what I mean? Like if, if someone had your login credentials and you can access the server, then nothing else matters. Like you know what I mean? Like they have to update and change your information. Yeah. So it really depends on like what the context of the question is really for. You know, is it like a cybersecurity firm? Is it you know well, like like I said, uh, even though you work in cybersecurity, there's some who work on servers for their security. There are some who help you with your personal stuff. There are some who work on your router to give it security. There's security for pretty much anything that's connected to the internet. So for cybersecurity, you're working on pretty much different stuff all the time. Because everyone has a different set of skills that makes sure they get a specific kind of job. This is what I know from my classes over at uh, my uh, autism truck technology center Ooh. where I was going to school before. I uh, did uh, computer networking and repair. So I know quite a bit about this stuff. Yeah, I've got a bachelor's degree in game development and programming. I was working to become a uh, IT tech. That's kind of basically what I ended up becoming. <laughs> I was like, uh, excuse me, what's a death march? And I was like, yeah, no, I don't think this is for me. <laughs> and then they try and sell you on it. It's not as bad as it sounds. Death march? I hope not, because that's a really low ass bar. <laughs> like... <laughs> At least the only thing you don't have to worry about in game design. Or, uh,. Whichever your best review was. I know it's for game, but I can't remember lost it. Oh, it's uh, game it's like development and programming. So I have a science degree, not an art degree. <clears throat> okay. Well, the only thing I don't have to worry about in that one is having to make a uh, Ethernet cable. Because literally, you're gonna have to make. You're literally going to have to make an internet. <laughs> you're gonna have to strip the ends off, put the clip on. Oh Make yeah, sure it runs correctly. If it doesn't, restart all over. I've actually made those forever ago. Um, my dad was an electronic engineer, so growing up, that was like stuff that we just did. Um, yeah, it was a pain in the ass. It is. Oh, it totally is. But <laughs> but at least I have experience. Music fanatic says. Well, the assignment is yeah, like I need to make a PowerPoint and, uh, on what to and not wear in the career. I'm majoring well, in, and mine is just straight cybersecurity, so I'm confused on it too. Well.